Are you ready to embark on a truly epic adventure to an undiscovered corner of South America, where some of the most spectacular natural attractions are unveiled within a beautifully diverse landscape? From the wetlands and savannas, to the ancient mountains, magnificent waterways, and lush and rich in rainforest would provide a vast playground for some of the most exotic and breathtaking creatures on the planet, including many of the world's giant species. This untouched land of mystery and wonder serves up an exclusive experience for travelers. So are you ready for a new, awe-inspiring adventure? Welcome back to nature. Welcome to Guyana. The tradition of kite flying in Guyana is second to none. Why? Because there's a certain pride that goes with kites at Easter time. And not just any kind of kite will do, you must get the traditional Guyanese kite, better known as the singing engine kite. Today, we will take you through the steps and teach you how to make one if you practice with your hands. production of a singing engine kite, there are a few things you will need. These are softwood, bamboo, nails, kite paper, paste, a saw, scissors and twine, all of which are not hard to find. Once you have got the materials, it is time to get crafty and build your kite. You first nail the pieces of wood together. You then cut the wood to the size that best suits you. Next, you make grooves at the end of the wood then use the twine to frame the kite. Small holes are then placed at the bottom and top of the wood. That is to facilitate the framing of the kite and to support the head and tail of the kite. We now frame the kite with the twine giving it its star shape. The nose and head of the kite is then added. The head is made from bamboo and is shaped thin. It is then placed at the top of the kite. Okay, the easy part is over. This is where it gets technical and years of experience steps in. That is, adding a star to the kite that will add the glamour to the masterpiece. Now we fashion. First, you add paste to the entire frame of the kite. You then place the kite paper on the frame of the kite. This step calls for patience. One wrong step and you might have to frame the kite all over again. The inner star is first covered which calls for steady hands. After that is completed, the outer part of the frame is covered. The wings of the kite are then added. This is commonly referred to as the frills of the kite. It is placed at the side of the kite. The wings help balance the kite when it is in the air. Two loops are then added to the top and bottom of the kite. Those are what the holes that were placed on the kites help to facilitate. These steps also cause for precision and experience as it is a determining factor in whether the kite flies or not. You have to then add what is known as the bull or tongue of the kite. This is what makes the kite sing when in the air as breathes hits it. After that, your kite is made and you are ready to fly with additional twine and cloth or rope as your tail. 